So now, usually in the industry, what happens is that we do not get the option of going into E tabs or the uh, E tabs and define the grid lines. Or you know, they're not very simple structures. They are like very big structures and you know, different complicated geometries. So you usually do not have the liberty of going ahead and uh, adding each grid line. It will be very hectic and very difficult to take control of. So what usually happens is that always we get architectural drawings from the architect, which have defined already predefined grid lines in it. So from that, there's an option that those grid lines you can import into ETABs from AutoCAD or any other such software. Okay, so how do you do that? So say I'm going to go again with a new model. I'm going to discard this for now. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead with this. So yeah, okay, so as you can see, I'm going to go with blank right now because I'm going to just import the grid lines from there, grid lines from the architectural drawing. I'm going to go with this blank. Okay, I don't want to have a cluster of grids over there. Then there's nothing over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you an example. Say this is an example grid line from the from the architect you receive. Okay, there are no no there's no name provided for each grid line because you make sure that you delete it in the beginning. You Keep it as simple as possible so that you just have the lines which you need at the end of it. Okay. Uh, so over here, as you can see, these are grid lines. Now, what do I do? One thing you should make sure is you have to save it in a DXF format. Okay. Only then can you import anything from uh, AutoCAD into ETABS. So if you keep it in a DXF format, what I do is I go to File, Import. And as you can see, you can import a lot of things into ETABs from other such uh, formats. Okay. So for now, what I'm going to show you is just that we're going to import DXF file of architectural grids. As you can see, there's an, there's an option of even importing DXF files from architectural plan as well. So if you have an entire plan, say you have already the walls defined, the columns defined, everything. So one thing which you can do is you can get an outline of all that into ETAB so that you don't have to worry about drawing, you know, worrying about what the location of each structural element is. So you would have this already on your ETABs model and you can just work off of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is import architectural grids. So I'm going to go here, say ETABs, and I can find this grid example, which is dot DXF file. Okay. I'm going to open it. Sorry, yeah. one thing which you should always remember is to close this. Yes, that is something which I myself forgot. Save changes. Yes, okay. So make sure that you close it and then you try to import it. Otherwise, it's going to give you an error. So import this. Then it gives you options of which layer you want to import into. My uh, grid lines were in the, in the zeroth layer. So, and make sure that you have an eye out for the DXF file units. This is very important because if you input in the wrong units, your scale of the building will be screwed up and you won't be able to find, even find the grid lines sometimes. You know, if it's in millimeters and you put in meters, you know, it's either going to blow up or it's going to shrink down. So you won't even find it. So to make sure that you have the correct units over here. And now you import it. Say I'm going to save it as example. And you can see, as, as you can see, we have the grid lines imported already. Okay. This is not the best way of showing how, you know, uh, how the grid lines come in and what grid lines actually are. This is more of a half a start grid line. It's not exactly the typical grid lines you see in a building, but this is how you can import it. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we are done with grid lines. Okay. We're going to hide it. How do you hide it? You go right click and then set grid visibility. It just vanishes. So, one thing, you know, whatever view you have over here is not going to get replicated on the other one. So, if you want to do anything, uh, you know, you replicate that same visibility settings over here, you just have to repeat it on the other window. So, it gives you a functionality, uh, you know, improvement because you can have a 3D view, view of the building over here and a 2D view. You can even, you know, convert this into 3D view as well. Not an issue. Depends on how you want to, how the, for the ease of use. Okay. So now we're done with grid lines.